Hey guys, I'm Paula. That's Brandon. Hey. Let's take a look at our top six single issue comics being released this week by independent publishers. All right, so where do you want to start off? Dead Eyes number three from Image Comics. Nice. As you know, Dead Eyes was Dead Rabbit. Yeah, I had a feeling you're going to be <laughs> it's not on my list. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this. So I'm getting right back in there with Dead Eyes. This is where this the story where you're left go, off. Yeah. yeah. Although there's like new things apparently. So it's, it's not Dead Rabbit, it's Dead Eyes. But... Uh, They're changing uh, it up a little bit. It's no. the same thing. It's no, the same yeah. thing. <laughs> it, the mob's coming after him. Yeah. You know, um, it, like it, it's exact. I, it's. I've yeah. I've read Dead Eyes one and two. It's the same thing. Like, yeah. There's some little changes. It's the same thing. Not, yeah, it's the same thing. Cool. Uh, who knows if maybe Jerry Duggan and John McRae want to do something different with the story now? But I'm very mm -hmm. excited, just like you. So. I like this book. It's funny, you know. So my first pick is Dead Eyes number three from Image Comics. What about you? What do you have next? Okay, so let's take a book. Let's take a book at a look. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at uh, The Butcher of Paris number one from Dark Horse Comics. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is, uh, you, you, you've read like Alan Moore's From Hell, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a similar kind of idea where it's a comic book reimagining of historical events. And, and so this story is based around Marcel Petois, I believe so you pronounce it. He was a serial killer in France during the Second World War. And so both the Nazis and the Allied forces are, are looking for this guy who's kind of promising to get people to safety and, and clearly not doing that. And that's what this book is based on. He's, he's a serial killer from, from the you know 19, late 30, 1930s and early 1940s. Uh, and this is a reimagining of those events. Mm -hmm. From what I've seen of it, looks uh, really stylistically done on, on the art side. That first cover yeah, that you're looking at right now awesome. looks amazing. So uh, I'm like very that. excited for this one to give it a try. And, and I think for anyone who's a fan of Alan Moore's From Hell or other books like that, this book is, is going to tickle uh, you know a very specific true crime comic fan uh, kind of experience. I, I, I'm very excited for it. So my first pick again is Butcher of Paris number one from Dark Horse Comics. Sweet. What's up next for you? Up next for me is Everything. Yeah. By Christopher Cantwell. This is the like uh, big box store thing. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. There's some weird like telepathic stuff going on, like random fires, just some crazy stuff going on. Now, uh, Christopher Cantwell, as you know, wrote She Could Fly, mm -hmm. which I loved. He's also writing Doctor Doom right now, which the yeah. first issue was great. I haven't read issue two yet. No, yeah. I, ha I haven't read it at all. Very unique. Good? Oh yeah. Anyway, sorry. Mm -hmm. you were Yeah, let's focus on everything, <laughs> not literally, literally everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. This cover looks freaking awesome too. The magic eight ball with the headphones. Yeah. Really yeah. like it. Cool. So everything from Dark Horse Comics. Check it out. Okay. So next up for me, I'm gonna mm -hmm. take a Mad Cave Studios book called Over the Ropes. That looks cool. Yeah. It's the first in a five part series. Um, about an up-and-coming wrestler. It's set in the 90s, so kind of in the heyday of like, in, if it was in, in real life, because this is this is uh, a fictional world, but if it was real life, it would kind of be set around the time of the, um, you know, WCW, WWF, mm -hmm. still at the time, Monday Night Wars, you yeah. know, as they called yeah. them. So, and it's that kind of idea. And it also has a little bit of the uh, the Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels storyline flair to, to it, at least from what the solicitations are saying. I did have a chance to look at the preview for this, and I, I think, it, you know, the character that we're following, what I can tell you about them, is that in the first pages of the book, I feel like they start off very insecure, mm -hmm. um, very driven, and, and I think that this character is going to evolve a whole heck of a lot over the course of this five-part series. I don't know if it's going to be for good or bad. I can't tell yet. Yeah. Um, but the first, the preview has already kind of shown him, uh, you know, alter his on-stage or in-ring persona. I haven't quite gotten a fix on what it's going to be yet, if it's going to have some prime elements or, you know, kind of a hero's journey vibe to it or what it's going to be. But very interested to see that. I like the aesthetic of the book a lot. My second pick is going to be Over the Ropes number one from Mad Cave Studios. Cool. So what's your last pick? My last pick this week is Ruby Falls number three from Dark Horse Comics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the Senti <laughs> joint. Yeah, this is turning out to be a really interesting uh, book. I knew it was going to be cool, but I'm really digging it. Mm. The idea of um, the grandmother remembering things because she has dementia and like 
Lana basically playing investigator. It's pretty fun. Yeah, th it's a it's a cold case situation, mm -hmm. right? Like she wants to solve this crime, and mm -hmm. and her grandmother remembers stuff, but everyone else dismisses it as like she's crazy or something like that. Yeah, this lady, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Betty Gall Gallagher, I believe, she goes missing, right? So there's this cold case. Not to mention that there's some mob ties included in this disappearance. So she's obviously in somewhat a dangerous <laughs> situation. Is that uh, like definitely mob? Well, it's not definitely mob. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I was curious. I've only read the first issue of this. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was very good. So. Yeah, I like it. Nice, good I pick. do like it. My last pick is Ruby Falls number three from Dark Horse Comics. All right, so I get to bring it home. Yeah. You know, I was humming and hawing about whether or not to put this one on the top five and give us something else to this list, but let's do it. Strange Skies over East Berlin, number three. This looks so freaking cool. Yeah, I love this book. Uh, the first two issues have both made our new comic book day top five. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm switching it up and putting it on this list. I've absolutely been loving this book. It's a mix of Cold War espionage and maybe like a little bit of an X-Files vibe or something in there. And... It's really, really unique from an aesthetic standpoint. Obviously, we're looking at the cover A minus the trade I was dress say, right now. I like the cover B with the blown head. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's awesome. It's so I funny. Love it. It I pops love it so much. Yeah, and it's I almost pink, like magenta. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost fun. And the uh, <laughs> the the font they they've been doing that that font style from the B covers on all of their B covers. Love They're it. consistent. Um, it's absolutely stunning. You know, this is a book that you, you might want to pick up, you know, a couple copies of because they, they're just so cool looking yeah, absolutely. To, to grab all these covers. And uh, yeah, it's a series that I've been loving so far. I can't speak highly enough about if you're into sci-fi, if you're into uh, espionage, if you're into sci-fi and espionage, <laughs> this is a book that I think is going to turn your head. So my final pick for today will be Strange Skies over East Berlin, number three from Boom Studios. Sweet. For a full breakdown of our list, hit the link in the description below or visit ExplodingEarths.com. Remember to subscribe wherever you're viewing or listening to us. Leave us a like and let us know in the comments what new books you're picking up this week. Check out our new Comic Book Day Top 5 for more cool comics dropping this week. Bye guys!